Hello YouTube. How's everybody doing? Hope good. This is a 30 day, 200 hour review on the Anycubic i3 Mega. Uh, as you can see in the background, it's printing right now. Very cool print called Aria the Dragon. I have it linked below. Uh, that filament is the uh, Tesla. Tesla, they call it a purple. It's like a fuchsia or raspberry color. Here's some print samples from the Anycubic. This is, uh, there's a series of benchies by uh, someone named Van Dragon underscore DE on Thingiverse. And they're really, really cool, really detailed, put a lot of time into it. And I like printing them versus the standard benchy. They, they take a little longer, but they're much more difficult for the printer to print. And they come out looking much cooler. So... This was printed on the i3 Mega using Tesla filament, their other purple. This is a violet, like a violet purple. This one here is just called a bathtub benchy. That's the name of this boat. So, this one here is the bath, bathtub tugboat by the same guy. Also printed with the same filament and printed on the i3 Mega. Very nice print. I mean, really impressed. Very detailed design and came out really, really nice now that I'm using an S3D profile that's tweaked for the i3 Mega. This one here is called June. It's a, like a jungle tour boat. I guess uh, an Amazon river tour boat. But look at the level of detail in the design as well as how nice it came out. The name of the boat on the railing, the wheel for the captain to use, a little bit of cargo. Yeah, there's one string hanging down below there. It didn't bridge perfectly. Um, but really pretty nice. My opinion, this printer bridges and prints overhangs better than any other stock printer, that at least that I've used. So the Delta, I'm still tweaking. It has a better cooling solution. Right now, it doesn't do quite as well because I'm still playing around with the profile. But this one here does really nice, better than the Ender, even better than the Tornado. So this is the same boat, just a different color filament different Tesla. These are two other Aria the Dragons that were printed on it. Came out really, really nice. Um, got the profile dialed in pretty good. No stringing. A nice shine. Pretty happy with how that came out and how this thing's printing now. No Z-banding. There used to be some. I mean, you can see layer lines, but not Z-band. Looks pretty nice. This is the light blue, or blue, from Tesla. Same Aria the Dragon. Uh, pretty happy with the overall results. These are the last two we'll show, and then we'll talk a little more about the printer. Um, this is filament. This is a Matter Hackers mascot that they designed and put out there. It's a pretty good test. Has some uh, overhangs, some pretty severe overhangs on the fingers, a little bit on the backpack. Um, perfectly spherical round surfaces. So it's a neat little print, a good little benchmark. Came out really nice. Last one is a violet version of the same thing. And it came out really nicely. So, very happy with the prints. Um, it's, it's noisy. I'm going to have to do something about the fans. It's the noisiest printer I have. So, something needs to be done about that. Uh, I did find, uh, thanks to one of our viewers, he linked me to a better spool holder 
It's not perfect, but it's definitely much stiffer and sturdier than the one I had before, so it doesn't tilt as much and sag. Uh, thank you very much. He linked, he replied in the bottom of the last video and let me know that. Uh, speaking of the last video, I want to correct the bed size. The bed size, I misspoke. It's 210 by 210 by 205. And I said 205 by 205 by 200. So I shorted it 5 millimeters in all directions. Uh, it's nice. I, I like the bed size. The Ultra Base is really, really nice. Some people, I see people scrapping it, complaining about it. I have probably a hundred prints off this thing. I haven't had one come off the bed as long as the uh, bed leveling is done right. As soon as it's done and cools off, the print just picks up. You can pick it up with tweezers. It's that easy. Pretty nice. Uh, very nice printer. I mounted the pie, so that's done. I'm controlling them all with the pie. I didn't see a cooling fan on the motherboard, so I'm going to add some cooling down there on the stepper drivers and the motherboard. I haven't seen any issues from not having it, but I want to prolong the life of it, so I intend to do that anyway. And then the other thing is I mentioned last time how they threw in an extra hot end and how nice that was of them, and it was, except I found out why it's needed. <sighs> I had a clog, and as soon as I went to unscrew the nozzle, pieces of the thread in the aluminum heat block came out with it. And it ruined the heat block. I couldn't replace the nozzle, or even if I cleaned the nozzle, I couldn't put it back in. So I grabbed the spare, put it on, clogged within two minutes, max, and luckily I had bought one from eBay, a single one, for like $9, which should have been a second spare. I put that one in, changed the filament I was using, realized that all of their hot ends, so all of the AnyCubic i3 Mega hot ends are all metal in there. Even though there's a Bowden tube, it's an all metal throat. Uh, there's a filament I was using that has trouble with all metal. Uh, it works perfect if you have a line throat, PFTE line, or if you have a, a design where the Bowden goes all the way down to the tip of the nozzle, it's fine. Uh, with all metals, though, it plugs. I have, so basically I chewed through two hot ends in the i3 Mega, as well as I had an issue in my Monoprice Ultimate uh, with the same filament. Plug in the all metal. As soon as I took the Micro Swiss all metal out of it and put the uh, lined one back in, no more plugs. So that's uh, actually the Ziltec filament. We'll talk about it more in the filament review video. It works perfect with lined throats. I have had some challenges with it with all metal. So that's why they give you a replacement because the aluminum heat blocks are so soft that they don't stay together when you remove the nozzle. On both of them, uh, the heat block was destroyed. I ordered two more nozzles from AnyCubic through eBay for $9 a piece. Not more nozzles, uh, entire hot end assemblies. Sorry about that. I did order a pack of nozzles from them as well even though it was probably moot because I don't know if I'm going to be able to unscrew the nozzle without destroying the heat block. And then I ordered a pack of five. Um, this is an E3D V5 hot end is what comes in it. And there's not tons of people out there that have the V5 heating block. I have some V6 stuff, but that doesn't work. So I ordered a, a pack of V5 heating blocks. Anyhow, 30-day review, any cubic I3 Mega. It, it's a winner. Print quality is beautiful, uh, very noisy. I'll be addressing that. Power supply, motherboard upgrades, and some hot end fan modifications that were linked by a viewer as well that I plan to print, test out, and then uh, do a follow-up review on at a later date. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to be notified of future videos. And hope everyone has a good one. Thanks. Bye-bye.